today's video, my friend Lara and I are going to talk about cheating here in China. Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today I'm here with my friend Laura. Hi everyone, I'm Laura. Uh, I'm from Germany originally, married to a Chinese guy. I work as a journalist in Beijing, but I also run the blog Our Chinese Wedding. Check it out, I'll put the link below. This video is another AMWF Advice Friday video. So remember if you have a question about dating your Asian guy or your white girl, if you're in a mixed relationship like that, please send me an email on info at lanaround.com or let me know on social media, Lena Around. You can find me and I will try to answer, right? Yeah. As well as Sounds we can. Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ling Ling, so what are we talking about today? Well, I was thinking that we should talk a little bit about cheating here in China. I actually thought about this um, a few days ago because Facebook was so nice to remind me about the time six the, the time six years ago when I shared on Facebook that I had bumped into a Chinese guy who I thought was my boyfriend, but he actually had a wife. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I also just want to say that the book that I'm writing, that I'm going to publish next year in May, the whole story about this incident is also in there. So if you're curious to know more about what happened with the two of us or the crazy love triangle, then get ready for some drama. Mm, yes. <laughs> I've heard the story and it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, in this video we're going to talk a little bit about cheating in China, married guys of course, so it's from a white girl perspective yes. again, and we have also found a few facts about like cheating and divorces here in China. <laughs> Where do we start? <laughs> Where do we start? Please let me know, just share some information about so it, share, so share, share, some, okay, yeah. share some information. I mean there is a general perception I think that cheating is much more common here in China and looking at some of the figures so it seems that there were around 3.8 million divorces in 2015 were the figures that i found mm -hmm. and apparently over 50 percent over half of these divorces were down to cheating um which is That's a high a figure <laughs> um i have to say at this point that we can't really compare it to the us right now so I can't really say if that's higher or lower mm. than um, other places. I mean, the US has lower figures of divorce, but then considering Chinese population. There are a lot of Chinese people, yeah. <laughs> Culture, I mean, the question is what, what what's going on? Culturally speaking, I guess that cheating for a long time was probably considered quite common. I mean, we I think most of us have heard of uh, the emperor's concubines, <laughs> oh, and yeah. multiple wives and all this sure. kind of thing. So having just one woman was just not necessarily a thing in the past mm. and so that probably has carried into the whole uh, situation today where in some areas in China it's still fairly common mm. that partners will cheat on each other not just the men but also the women yeah I was actually thinking doesn't it also sometimes show that you're like a successful man like yes. I've heard a lot of like officials having like actually even official girlfriends and mistresses and like all these kind of different women around and they buy them houses and like put them nearby or like yeah. go with them to big like official dinners and I was like what where's the wife like <laughs> yeah that's this? definitely businessmen for businessmen it is a matter of space because they have the money they're able to afford um, a girlfriend or a girl on the side mm. but that doesn't mean that they have to or do mm. I think that it's always a, a quite a difficult interesting conversation is how much of this is culturally sanctioned and how much of it just happens naturally if you're in a culture that says okay cheating is fine or a sim status symbol if you're rich mm. uh, will it happen more often it's such a difficult question to answer and I think I mean from my personal perspective when I started going out with my boyfriend which was six years ago almost Yay. wow <laughs> <laughs> uh, I that spent like that. the first month constantly saying to him you will never cheat on me you are not allowed to cheat on me <laughs> at the end of the day I mean these things happen right it's, yeah. it's not necessarily down to a culture, but maybe more compatibility. Just, yeah, personality um, and the relationship. Yeah. I feel like 
I feel like we should also, when we talk about this, we have to mention that a lot of Chinese people, especially like a little, the older generation, like the ones who are like 40 now, or maybe even like younger, they have been like forced or pushed into relationships, right? It's like forced into ma well, the forced marriage, into marriage, but yeah. maybe did not have as much say as the younger generation. Yeah, like, partner. you know, yeah. it's not like their parents are saying, you have to do this right now, but they're pushing, 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 and the girls and the boys are like, okay, you know, maybe this, this guy is kind of nice, like he yeah. has a house, so probably should do that and then after 10 years you're like okay who is this who, who is this yeah i don't yeah. even i don't even know yeah that's yeah. definitely one of the factors is that um in general i mean there's kind of a rush to get married mm. uh, here in china there's marriage pressure sure. and so i think a lot of women might end up finding themselves with partners that they don't have much in common and then mm. of course it, these things easily happen right what i would say is don't let it put you off it, it is quite, it, it can be quite scary, of course, to think of like, oh God, if this is such a common thing, mm. but don't let it put you off. No. Um, I mean, from my personal experience, I knew because there was a history of cheating with my boyfriend, now husband, that he was kind of not going to do that. Um, but that being said, it still could happen. Like, I'm, mm. I'm not, I'm quite a realist in that way. And I don't think that it means that you're horrible people. Everyone, yeah, it's very um, different, yeah. But I wouldn't be too depressed or negative mm. or scared to give it a try. And mm. you know, you'll see who your partner is, how your partner is. Yeah. Be smart about it. I, mm. I know that there are, like you mentioned, you had a situation, you didn't know the guy was married, and that mm. happens quite a lot here, I yeah. think. Is that, and then, especially for us, because we might go into it quite blue-eyed, and yeah. be like, oh yeah, you're a guy who's 28, 30, um, sure. You have a car and a house, that's totally that's, normal. That's the fine, West, I'm know? sure you're single if you don't tell me otherwise. Yeah, um, yeah of course. <laughs> so be a bit smart about it. If yeah. he's uh, nearing 30 or older than 30, and he has a house and a car, <laughs> you just want to ask to be sure. Yeah. And then, at the end, and maybe sure. just, you know, look at it a bit more open-eyed, mm. and, and check that his stories match. I would also say though, like a lot of Chinese go abroad. So I've met guys who was abroad for five years and then they came back like one or two years ago and they're already like 33 or 35. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you definitely have to look at what has he been doing mm -hmm. the last many years. If yeah. he has just been in China, done his degree, started a full-time job and he has a car and blah blah blah. I actually went on a blind date a while ago and the guy, he was, he picked me up in his car he had an apartment in Beijing and I was suspicious. I was like, how come? Like, why are you not married, you know? And he was like, honestly, I just got divorced. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, well, that's fair enough. You yeah. know, he's being honest here. That's another thing I think that you might want to just think about that is not necessarily related to cheating, but just, um, well, it is in the way that divorce rates are quite high and so chances are you'll meet a guy who is divorced especially mm. if you're say in your 30s and you're meeting guys your age yeah. um, so that's something you need to maybe prepare yourself for because I do know that some women might think that that's a, an issue I personally don't think that that's no, an I, issue at all I don't so I would right. recommend that that's just something you keep in mind that that mm. might happen and there might be a past with a, with an ex yeah um, but as long as you're ready for that I think that's perfect. Yeah. So really I think our advice here from China is just that if you're coming here to China and you're meeting some Chinese guys, you know, just ask them about it, but don't be like super suspicious, suspicious. like no, you don't have to. It's, it's really, and yeah, as I also said, it's very much down to personality as well. And I also thought, sometimes think it has to do, so, something to do with like if they're in urban areas or rural areas. Yeah, yeah, because rural areas, that is my experience, Chinese guys there or men, they're like, ooh, a foreigner, this is so interesting, <laughs> oh, I have a wife, blah, blah, whatever, you know, I want to see this girl, hello, yes. no. you know, so if you're staying in a very small city and somebody's hitting on you and he's 35 and has, again, has a car and an apartment, yeah, yeah, especially since marriage age tends to be even lower. Or I mean, it's already it's set, that's true. already low on average, but it's even lower if you go sure. out into the rural centers. Yeah, sure. It's more common here in Beijing to meet someone who's thirty and not married. Yes, yes that's yes. okay. That's okay. Oh, Shanghai. Shanghai. Oh yeah, Shanghai too. Yeah, Shanghai. <laughs> Shanghai guys. Shanghai. Shanghai. Yeah. Yeah. That's the place. <laughs> <laughs> we should advertise Beijing, I guess. But yeah, hey, come, Beijing. come to Beijing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you very much, Laura. Thanks for having me. Joining in. She's gonna help me with a few other videos, so I hope that you are excited to 
see her again here and please remember to check out her blog once again our, our Chinese, Chinese wedding, wedding. Yeah. yes so we're gonna leave now here we're probably gonna say a little Merry Christmas it's not really yet but a yeah. little Merry Christmas from little Merry Christmas baby. 圣诞节快乐. yes Okay. And yeah, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for yep. more videos from Lingling and we'll see you again soon. Lingling and Laura is out here and Merry Christmas. Bye! Bye. Bye.